What's up, everybody? We are here with our friend Mickey. He is the owner of Wyndham and Anthology Fabrics. We are in their warehouse in New Jersey, and behind us here, we have a semi trailer full of fabrics. He's gonna take us from the very beginning to the very end. Let's get started. Nice to have you here you with your much. whole crew. We're really excited to, to kick this off. We are um, standing here in our warehouse or in the receiving area of our warehouse. warehouse. And this is a shipment that just came here. Uh, this container is filled with batiks from Indonesia. So this, these boxes were literally uh, packed on the other side of the world. No and, kidding. And they, they sailed across the ocean and almost two months later they're here and we're unpacking them in the warehouse now. Wonderful. We're obviously standing and receiving. We have a semi truck behind us. Tell me how the process works and kind of walk me through it. Okay, well, we'll start way back around 70 years ago when this company started. We've always been a fabric company and we've been catering to the quilting community um, since the early 90s. Okay. Um, Batiks is something that we got into about seven years ago when we bought Anthology Fabrics. So we're gonna take a walk through the warehouse and. We'll see some things along the way and we'll okay. stop off of where they're unpacking these boxes of fatigues. Tell me kind of how you got into this. I know it's been a, it's a family business. It Give me just like the whole rundown. Uh, my father had started with his partner many, many moons ago. It had many iterations. 80 years uh, ago, right, you said, right? 70 years 70 ago. 70 years ago. Shortly after I graduated from college in 1984, uh, it was a few years that I did I wasn't even born yet, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> Gotta just throw that it in there that right. way. <laughs> he said, Mickey, it's time for you to consider coming in. I said, okay, dad, I'll think about it. He said, You'll be here on Monday. And, there you go. Uh, I was there on Monday and I never looked back. This is in part what he built and we're continuing, we're continuing the love. So cool. You didn't start in quilting necessarily, right? You were more in like home goods, apparel. We were what's known as a jobber, so. Very common term here in New York, right? Yeah. In New Jersey. So we bought stock lots and odd lots and overruns from the, from the mills that were operating back then in the United States and we sold right. them to Whoever would buy, Whoever would buy <laughs> fabric, right? Now, obviously, things are more quilting focused, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, entirely, 100%. I was gonna say 100%, right? Uh, no, we still have a nice manufacturing business. So, we, so a lot of our fabric does be, uh, get sold to manufacturers. Okay, very cool. We're here at our first area, right? Yeah, this yeah. Is, so, uh, so this is um, Raj and his crew are unpacking these boxes that came from Indonesia. These are all anthology boutiques. Okay. Um, you can see they come out of the boxes. Hey, can you open up uh, one of these boxes? So you can see that they come double enrolled from the factory in Indonesia. So you guys open the boxes, stack them by color. So we have this style here. So you're keeping all the light colors together, like styles together. It smells good. It smells like batiks. Smells like batiks, isn't that? That's a great smell. Got the right? batik smell to them, yeah. But they're unpacking these boxes, kind of staging them here, and then they'll go to the packing line to get packed and then into the shelves. Cool, let's see it. So now we're walking past um, the batik section. They just tons and tons and tons of bolts of batiks here. Give me the background on, on Anthology and Wyndham. So you said Anthology you bought seven years ago? About seven years ago. Was it called Anthology? It was called then? Anthology Fabric, uh, Anthology Batiks. Okay. Uh, it was run out of a, a, an office in California. You know, we had seen them at Quilt Market, at, at trade shows. It looked really nice, and we struck up a conversation, and a couple of years later, we made a deal. And were they retiring, or just no, wanted to go a different direction? Um, or no, to sell out? They, they were, it was time. He, he saw the opportunity. We presented him with an opportunity, and, and it worked out well for everybody. Yeah. Um, but Batiks was one thing that Wyndham was missing, right? We, we Wyndham did not do batiks, so okay. we, instead of developing it ourselves, we jumped right in. And batiks are a lot different than quilting and cottons, right? It's yeah. a different process, sure. it's a different country, it's a different everything. And we didn't know much about it, but um, the folks at Anthology did. Now this looks like it's going into collections, right? Yeah, this so is, the, going this into... is uh, the start of the Wyndham shelves. How many Wyndham SKUs do you have? Do you have any idea? I don't know. <laughs> I'm Give embarrassed to say I don't have an answer to that 20, question. 20,000? When they're always changing, right? They're it's always, always changing. It's, it's all, it, we're always keeping track of it. <laughs> well, it's sort of trying to anyway. That's, I'm kidding, right? <laughs> Okay, so what are we what are we looking at so here? So here's the main packing lines. It comes right from uh, the staging area to the packing line. So again, we bring in everything double and roll. So as soon as it hits our dock, it's basically ready to pack and ship. So that stuff we just saw there. How long is it going to take for that to be over here being sent out? It'll be here tomorrow. So so wow. they'll unpack it there. They'll stage it. They'll check it in. Make sure make that sure you got what you we got for. what we paid for. Yeah. Fernando and his team will go down there. It's a short walk. Sure. They'll pick it from over there, pack it here, and then 
the balance will go into the shelves for what we call residual sales. The slush fund, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the, it's a slush fund. Yeah, good, good way to put it. And how many containers are you guys getting a day? Is it a container a day? Is it five containers? Well, is it we have goods coming in from so many different countries and so many different suppliers that it's all not containerized. There's a truck here every day of some nature sure. bringing something. Okay. So can you show us kind of what the process is over here? Sure, let's go take a, a look at what Fernando's up to. Fernando and his crew are here um, picking the store orders, okay. packing them in boxes, sending them down the line, closing them up. From here, they'll go to the staging area and the truck will pick them up this afternoon. Sure, and they'll come to my shop. This machine's cool here. Can you get some close-up on this? He got a slow motion out of the machine working and flipping around, it's pretty cool. So these orders have already been picked then, right? It's kind of different, right? We're not picking it from the shelves. Everything comes here, and then they match the bolts to the pick ticket right here on the packing line and, and put them right in the box. So it's that's that's different from other warehouses we've been in. Instead of going and inventorying, warehousing, put it, setting up, redoing signage, you're bringing it here, you're packing everything, and then after that, it's going to it, right? And, and think of that as the first step, right? So when the collection comes in, it comes in on the you know, near the ship date. These have orders ready to ship. We pack them right here on the packing line. Then that extra inventory goes to the shelf. It's now going, obviously, to a ship station then, right? Right. It, it just gets staged here at the end of the packing line. Um, right. It won't even go to the staging, or it'll go to the staging area just for a short amount of time until the FedEx truck comes to pick it up. That machine's so cool. I need one of those. <laughs> Probably don't. I know, but I feel like I want one. I mean, look at that thing. The warehouse goes on and on with more shelves and more fabric. And <laughs> at Wyndham Anthology, everything is here under one roof, so the warehouse, operations, and all the back office design operations. Teams. Design, marketing, finance, production, customer service is all here. So we right. could walk into the right. office and see Let's what happens. Let's do happens. it. So we've just walked from the warehouse into the office. Okay. So we'll start where it all starts, which is in design. Where the magic begins is in our art department, and that's run by Sophia. <laughs> Thank Hi. you. Hi, everyone. So give us like a little background of what's going on here. Mickey just used the word magic, and there's no magic going on here. <laughs> just a lot of passion, creativity, a lot of hard work. We're designing about 100 collections a year. Sometimes we're starting with a blank sheet of paper, and between us here, we're putting Drawing. something on there. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we're starting with some reproduction fabric from sure. our archives, or a painting that we're scanning in, and then we're digitally painting on top of. And we're designing very far in advance to make sure that each release stays on brand. And I think that part of this sure. brand is that we have something for everyone. You want it to be everything, but not off brand. So Sophia, thank you so much for showing us your department here. And guys, if you want to know more about Sophia and her team, check out the link below. We have a video just with them showing you the whole art process and how it works. So we'll walk through our meandering office in our marketing department. And Kate is Hi, Kate. Um, in charge of Hi. this great marketing department. I'm Kate, I'm the marketing director for Wyndham and I'll introduce you to my team. I have Lisa. Hi Lisa. Our <laughs> Danielle, who's our marketing coordinator. Hey, yeah. Hi. Um, and actually right now we're working on some catalogs that we're gonna use for a show that's coming up for a okay. trade show. So we're just going over all the details, we're editing, we're spell check. tuning, we're, <laughs> we're doing a lot of spell checking. Um, and then, I don't know if you want to come around, but Lisa is working on mocking up quilts for our next release. So for every collection, we have to do at least three sample quilts. And Very right cool. now she's working on mocking one up with a, a collection that Maisha worked on. What's this one called? Garden Party. So you'll I see saw that. that in there a yeah. minute ago. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Um, so we do all the you know, back end stuff for the website. We do the front end stuff for the website. Anything that's customer facing is something that we create within this department. Very you cool. Know, so dream to, team. Yeah. We're the dream team. <laughs> yes. Every fabric company needs a sample room and these ladies, Lizeth, runs a sample room, but her crew uh, are making sample cards, right? So our rep brings this to us. The rep brings to the store to sell the fabric. And so you guys make these all in house? We do make most of these in house, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm messing up your pile here. So we're getting ready now for our July release. It's a lot of work. How many of these do you make? 160 each. 160 per collection. So if you have, and how many collections are coming out in June? 20. That's better get work faster. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lizette. Thank you.
Hi Sandy. How are you doing? After the collection has been designed and the colors have been decided and the factory starts sending strike offs. Which can you explain what that is for, okay. for folks that don't know what that is? So a strike off, Sandy, what's a strike off? So a strike off is they, they run a test. They send a, a printing, usually the first one is just as it is, and they send it to me and I take it and I look at it and compare it to the artwork. Well, this one is kind of obvious. They're missing colors. They're missing purples. They're missing water. So I said, hmm, restrike. Fortunately for me, the second time they sent it, it they nailed it. <laughs> so in part, why everyone gets beautiful Wyndham fabric is because of Sandy. I'm talking about right there. <laughs> very cool. Thank you very much, Sandy, for showing us this process. If you guys want more details and more about Sandy, make sure you check out the video below. We have just an exclusive with him to show us the whole process. So we'll go on to the next step. This stop is my office, so this is where I sleep. Uh, I work, right? <laughs> <laughs> this wall of Wyndham is every collection, the sample card of every collection that we've done. Wow. So you have stuff in here that's, I mean, years very, and years very, old, very, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oftentimes we'll go here if we want to see what the color really was or what did that collection look like. Uh, of course, we go to the website, but uh, all the cards are here. It's not the same as I open it up and everybody sitting around a table and like, this is it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it comes in handy often, unless, of course, we can't find the card. It's hard. It's hard to maintain. Yeah, I bet. I mean, when Sophia in the art department asks for a card, I put my initials on the back to make sure that I get it back. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right guys, so this is pretty much the end of, uh, of seeing everything, right? We've seen kind of the whole process. Seen just about all of it. Thank, first of all, thank you so much for your time and showing us and opening up your warehouse to us. We really appreciate it. It's always cool to see the behind the scenes of each individual company. For all of our viewers out there that are watching this, if they've never used a Wyndham Fabrics uh, or an Anthology Batik, what do you want them to know coming directly from the owner of the company? I think you could see that we've built a team here that's proud of what they do. Sure. I mean, from, from designing the fabric to making sure the fabric looks like it's supposed to look to handling it properly, properly in the warehouse. Um, we hope that extends out into the field with our sales reps as they, as they visit stores and that we proudly have you know, th this quality product on the shelves. Yeah. We think, we hope, we try to have something for everybody. <laughs> I think you do. I mean, I really have all, I, a lot of companies say that, but in reality, like you guys really embody that. Well, we try. It's, it's not by accident that that happens. So again, I, I'm proud of uh, the team that makes that happen. And I hope it shows in our fabric. So you guys saw this tour here, but we have individual videos with lots of members from your team. So down in the description below, you're gonna see different links with the team members that Mickey's put together here, and you will enjoy the rest of the whole tour here. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.